everyone, this is me, Hannah, the happy SLP. So this week, I'm back with a quick tip for the parents and I hope this would help you all. I have seen many kids who cannot say certain sounds clearly and that affects the speech clarity. If your child doesn't know to say the sound, learn properly, don't worry. Today, I'll be giving you tips on how to teach your kids the sound L. Before starting with the topic, let me just remind you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do, so that you can stay tuned with the upcoming videos as well. Moving back to the topic, in my previous video, Speech and Language Disorders, I have discussed about articulation and I hope you would remember if you have watched it. For those of you who haven't watched it yet, the link is right below. Make sure you watch it. As I said before, articulation deals with how we make speech sounds using the palate, teeth, lips and tongue. We need our articulators to move efficiently so that we will have the adequate speech clarity. In case if your kid cannot move their tongue up smoothly, then sounds like L, T and all of it will be affected. Normally, children start to say L sound by 3 years. And by six years, almost every kid will master it in their conversation. So it should be a concern if your kid is not saying L properly even after six years. There can be various reasons for why your kid cannot say so. So one of the common causes we see in kids is the presence of tongue tie. So look out for tongue tie and try to remove it if it's present as it will affect the kid's speech clarity. And there are few other kids with tongue and jaw dissociation. So I will be doing videos soon on both of these topics for parents who are not sure of what they are. So teaching the kids the place of articulation is another very important when we look into the misarticulation cases. So do consult a speech language pathologist or a speech therapist like me if the speech clarity is still affected. So now let's see how to make the sound L. The L sound is produced when we keep the tip of the tongue just at the back of our teeth. So if you feel it with your tongue, you can feel a small bumpy area that's exactly where the tongue should be placed. So after keeping the tongue there, ask the kids to use the voice by allowing the air to pass around the tongue and that is how L is produced. I'm going to quickly do a quick demo on how to teach L for your kids. So make sure your kid sits near you and you have a big mirror in front of you. So you and your kid is facing the mirror. And we're gonna start the demo. Hey, today we're gonna start. Look, are you excited? I am excited and I hope you are too. Okay, so let's start learning. Look. Okay, here we go. So first, can you just show me the tongue? Very good, very good. Can you touch and show it? Good job, good job. Okay, now can you touch the upper teeth? Yes, that's the upper teeth. Very good. Okay, now I want you to touch the back of the upper teeth. Yes, that's the back of the upper teeth. Good job. Yes, okay. Now, I feel a bumpy region at the back of the upper teeth. Do you feel so? Okay, can you try touching there with your finger? Oh yes, you feel a bumpy region, right? It's kind of like a rough region, yes. Yes, you feel it, yes. Very good, very good. Okay, so now what are we going to do is, we're going to touch the tip of the tongue to the bumpy region. So we're going to do it like this, the tip to the bumpy region. Can you do so? Tip to the bumpy region. Yes, good job, good job. Yes, you did it. Okay, come on, keep doing. Yes, good. Okay, so now we touch the tip to the bumpy region. Okay. So now we are going to do the next step, okay? I'm going to release a little air and I'm going to produce a sound too. Do you want to see how I'm going to do it? Can you hear the sound? 
that's how I did it and I want you also to do it. Yes, that's it. You did it. High five. See how simple it is. And this is just we are teaching them how to place it and how to say it with the placement. So don't forget to keep a mirror and both of you can sit facing the mirror and then do the steps that I've just demonstrated now. If your child is finding difficult to find the spot, the bumpy spot to place a tongue, you can paste a little peanut butter or any sticky food item and ask them to lick it from there with their tongue. And eventually, you can ask them to place it there and you can help them with your finger or a lollipop or even an ice cream stick. And then you can ask your child to place his tongue tip. So the method that works best for one child may not always work for another. So don't get discouraged if one idea doesn't work. So once your child can produce a good lesson all by itself, it is time to move into the syllables and nonsense syllables. So those syllables and nonsense syllables will sound like this. La, lo, olo, ula and all that. So now if your child can say the syllables above with a proper less sound and then it's time to move them into words. So when we come into the word level, there are three types. Le initial words, medial words and final words. So initial words means when le comes in first sound and medial when it comes in the middle and final which comes in the end. And after the sound level, it comes into the word level and then we finally move into the sentence. So the next step is move the le sound into sentences. So if your child can say the le sound in words, then we are going to practice it in sentences. For example, Luke likes to eat lady's finger. So you can notice that the le sound is there in the entire sentence. So have your child practice the le sound while they read it loud or while they repeat this particular sentence or any other sound. So once they, once they are able to say the sentence, now we can practice them with stories and we can even make them to retell the stories or read story and if they are reading the story, make sure that they are reading it loudly. And once they are very okay with the story, we can move them into conversations too. So that is how the sequence of LE is being developed. So I hope this video was helpful for all the parents who were listening and please do subscribe to my channel and share among your friends whom you think this would help. You can always contact me, the happy SLP, either via comments or through my social media accounts, Facebook or Insta. The links are given below in the description regarding your concerns and queries regarding speech, language, hearing and swallowing issues. And I would try my best to help you. So until we meet again in another video, stay happy and much love. Hannah, the happy SLP.